You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on Macross Plus. Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here, and today we're going to be reviewing an anime review for today's anime. I haven't done a review on this anime until now. For today's anime review, we're going to be reviewing Macross Plus. Macross Plus is a four-episode anime OVA and theatrical movie in the Ma Macross series. It was the first sequel to the original Macross television series that took place in the official timeline. Macross 2 was quickly written on by series creator Ko Shoji Kawamori as a parallel wo world story in the Macross universe. Plus a groundbreaking combination of traditional cell and computer-generated animation at the time of its release, paving the way for the incorporation of the more computer-generated imagery in Japanese animation. So, let's start with our plot. Three year, three decades after the Great War between the humans and the Zentradi in January 2040, the UN government is developing the new technologies to use in their transforming fighter aircraft by running tests on the colony planet Eden. Military test pilots and former childhood friends Luce, Cannon, Isamu, Alva, Dyson, and the Zen. Tratty mixed race Gil G U L D or Gold Goa Bowman are selected to each pilot a new aircraft Shinsei Industries Y F five F nineteen and General Galaxies Y F twenty one to the pro for Project Supernova to choose the newest successor to the V F eleven. Thunderbolt variable fighter, which is currently still in use by the UN Spacey military forces. Their own personal grudges end up disrupting the tests and begin to wreak havoc on the program. Their rivalry heats up when a mutual friend, Myung Fang Lone, shows up. Myung was a childhood friend of both pilots, both the, but the three of them had falling out and quickly grew apart. This alluded to throughout the story and evidence of the strained relationship between Myung and the uh, either of the two men is apparent when uh, while their distaste distaste of her one another is obvious when they meet again they discover that Myung is now the producer of Sharon Apple the hottest entertainer in the galaxy who is just happens to be an hologram unknown be unbeknown as to the public the Sharon Al is incomplete and requires Myung to provide emotions during concerts. During a testing session, Gold and Isamu finally re face off against each other, and an all out fight begins as each tries to best the other. Despite the being in the middle of testing area, they quickly proceeded to tear the surrounding area to shreds in their fight to gain superiority over the other having turned off their communications equipment both pilots fight using the test aircraft in the series of stunning dogfight maneuvers before going into a batroid uh, form and finishing them off in the fight on the ground in the process an accidental gun pod discharge injures I Isamu and he is taken to the hospital where he awakens to Myung standing watch over him after returning to duty a military tribunal questions gold about their fight in the test area but uh, ultimately the decision is to lift up the admiral in char charge of the pro charge of the project chief millard the station commander of new edwards test flight Facility reluctantly tells both pilots that their mission and the project has been scrubbed by the UN Spacey High Command due to the compilation of new, a newer and previously unknown aircraft, the Ghost X-9. An advanced stealth UCAV prototype which is secretly pr being pr produced on Earth while the two other prototypes, YF-19 and the YF-21, 
29, where so simultaneously being tested for the Project Supernova in Planet Eden with the Ghost X9 completed testing on the YF19 and YF21 was halted immediately after this since the higher ups believe that the the unnamed fighter is superior in every other way. Meanwhile, Al Sharon Apple has developed malevolent conscious due to an illegal biochip having been installed by lead scientist. On the project, Marge Goldoa, during her concert in the Atlantis Dome inside Earth's Macross City, Sharon quickly takes over both Ghost X-9 and the SFD-1 Macross Fortress, or Macross Fortress, and hypnotizes her audience and the Macross staff while trapping Myung in the Macross itself. Wanting to prove that the man-made fighter units are necessity and proof of his worth, Isamu and Yang, the YF-19's engineer, take the fighter jet and spray haze fall to Earth to beat X-9 in its own game, while Gold gives a chase in the... YF-21, Sharon hacks into the Earth's outer space differences, and both Isamu and Gold make it through, then they proceed to attack each other again as they argue about childhood grudges. At the climax of the fight, Gold, finally achieving a target lock, releases a large fury of missiles, seemingly destroying the YF-19, and this happens, Gold is flooded by repressed memories, now realizing it was his truly... His own jealous rage that had torn the friendship apart, having saved himself and Yang by cutting engine throttle and gliding the YF-19 then appears in the skies above gold and the two old friends reconcile. When discovering that Myung's life is in danger, Isamu and gold quickly to go to her aid while Isamu goes after Sharon Golds uh, fights the X-9 and ultimately destroys it by removing the gravitational safety limiters on his aircraft and matching in however from what we see in this the X-9 velocity and maneuverability which is higher than normally possible due to its being computer controlled and having no pilot until he achieves a target lock and shoots at the X-9 down. However, removing the limiters allows the goal to achieve accelerations exceeding the human even under Zendraji human limitations go, which uh, ultimately leads to his Earth and the G forces generated by his piloting, and literally crushing him. Him even as he crashes the YF twenty one and to the X nine destroying it, while fighting the the S F the while fighting the S D F one Macross, Sharon hypnotizes Yang, who shoots at Isam Is Isamu. If I'm pronouncing, correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong again. But only hits his helmet. Isamu ejected Yang, but then is hypnotized by Sharon's voice and is left to crash to his death. At the last second, Myung's voice reaches him and brings him out back to consciousness. Dodging the Macross's fire, Isamu is able to destroy the central computer, effectively eliminating Sharon. So the story ends as the sun rises over the Macross Fortress with Myung waving Is Isamu who has survived the destruction of Sharon's computer. Eventually, the UN government banned all AL technology developments after the incident and allowed the continuation of Project Supernova. So my thoughts on Macross Plus, they have, it was originally a four episode OVA anime and then they edited it as a movie version. Following Big West's 1992 release of Macross 2, which was subsequently reconned as an alternate u use universe title, the original Macross staff sh member Shoji Kawamori began to work on a true sequel to the original Macross series to realistically depict the intense flight scenes in the anime. Kawamori, Shoji Kawamori, a uh, Along with the action of choreographer Ichiro Itano and the other members travel to Edwards Air Force Base, which was the basis for New Edwards Air Force Base on the planet Eden in the series at Edwards, California. 
for a few training sessions with the Dog Fighting School Air Combat USA. The Advanced Tra Tactical Fighter Program of the 1980s, however, was the basis of the Project Supernova contest between the YF-19 and YF-21. Consequently, the YF-21's design was heavily influenced by the Northrop YF-23. The design of Eden City was influenced by San Francisco landscape, was, which was also served as a backdrop for the frontier sit in, city in Macross Frontier. So the wind farms throughout the planet was were based on on those found in California's Central Valley, while Eden's highways were designed from those seen in Orlando, Florida. Other noticeable staff, including co-director Shinichiro Watanabe, who is known for Cowboy Bebop, character designer Masayuki, the animation director Koji Morimito, who designed the Sharon Apple concert scene, Shoji Kawamori designed all the variable fighters in the anime, Kazutaka Miya. Ateake was credited for the use of the, his previous designs for the Macross and the Destroyed Monster, and he was involved in the project as a mecha designer. And for the YF-21 cockpit, both the YF-21 and the YF-19 flight suits, and the X-9 Ghost Drone Fighter, and the Renegade Zentradi battle suits. Yoko Kano composed the score for Macross Plus. The orchestral skull was t recorded by Tel Ev Israel by the members of the Israel Fer Harmonic Orchestra, except for Dogfight. An orchestral track during the final battle between Isamu, Isamu and Gold, which was recorded in Prague, Zek Republic by the Zek Philharmonic Orchestra. Sharon Apple songs were performed by the number of different artists, namely Gabriella Robin, Akino Airai, and Mai Yumane, Melody Sexton, Wiyotana, and Rachi Kortev sisters. The most notable song in the series was Myung's song Voices, which is performed by Airai and is only the Japanese language song in the soundtrack for the English dub of the series. Voices was translated into and performed by Michelle Flynn. Three songs in Formation High and The Borderline and Pulse are in English, while Idle Talk is in French. Four songs After Dark, Torch Song, Santi You, and I Sai In, I, and Wanna Be an Angel are sung by the in the fictional Zentran language. The soundtrack CDs were released in Japan by Victor Entertainment in North America. The first two soundtracks were made available through JVC and then subsequently the Anime Tracks, a division of the Right Stuff International. Macross Plus has consisted in a four episodes, approximately 37 to 40 minutes length, especially the Japanese voice cast, and the English dub version of Macross Plus, which is the international version, which is the movie version, which is the English dub version produced in the in international market in North America, with the English cast in general. So they edit it into a movie version, as well as the movie edition, which had a limited theatrical release in Barbican Century in the United Kingdom in September 14th, 2019, especially for Macross Plus, which is the movie version, which is edited from the four-episode OVA version. So this concludes my anime review on Macross Plus. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Macross, or Macross, if I'm pronouncing it. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Macross Plus. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my quick thoughts about it. They made it into a four-episode OVA version, into a movie version, when it was known as Macross Plus Movie Edition. I have Volumes 1 and 2 of Macross Plus on DVD, I have, as an anime collector. Hope to subscribe for content at Anime Planet, link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have a Twitter and Facebook account, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video. Please leave it in the comments about your suggestions for anime reviews by leaving the comment section below on this video. Please subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel, click my notifications bell button, check out my videos that I'm uploading as well. And that's all I have to say. So keep it otaku for my anime review on Macross Plus, because I get to do an anime review on Macross Plus for the first time. So this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my anime review on Macross Plus. I'm glad you liked my anime review, and I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next anime review, and hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off, and thank you for watching my anime review on Macross Plus. Stay tuned for my next anime review, Dragon Ball Z The Return of Cooler.